Welcome back, you beautiful person. Welcome back to the channel. <laughs> <laughs> Today we're gonna continue with uh, tales. tales. I don't think we have a lot left of, out of tales, right? Maybe, maybe ten. Ten, 10 more episodes, right? Something like that. I think 10 more episodes. We'll see. It's a JRPG. It could surprise us. Anyways. It's a part two. It's a part two of the game? <laughs> <laughs> it's a part, this would be the part five of the game. <laughs> Anyways, let's continue. <coughs> and yes, uh, I am a bit sick, my voice is really nasally, um, I'm okay. Can you hear me though? I can hear you, yeah, why? Too loud. I don't hear anything. Huh? I don't hear anything. Oh, because the cable is not here. <laughs> ah, can you hear? Yeah, but I'm just gonna lower it. Why? Just 80%. Okay. So. Uh, last time we saved the... Uh, no, the Holy Punch Fahara, Fahairi, Fahara. Yeah, and then we had a vision of uh, his past. And let's see what this is. Tell me, Dohalim, has that skill of yours got a name? And what skill would this be, pray tell? You know, when you're talking to people around town. The way they suddenly become putty in your hands. I'm afraid I don't quite follow. I do. It's called friendly intimidation. Look imposing and speak in a deep, booming voice, and presto, you'll have people wrapped around your finger in no time. I would never stoop to such scandalous tricks. Any feelings of intimidation are solely in the eye of the beholder. So there is a knack to it! How do you learn it? Can anyone do it? <laughs> now you got me curious. Is there special training to master? Hmm, let's see. An obsession with being elegant is a must. Oh, and it helps to be old-fashioned, too. Bonus points if you speak in a way no one can understand. <laughs> if you've a bone to pick with me, it'd be quicker to just come out and say it. What? They look up to you, that's all. I'm just helping them along. Hey! What got into Alvin and Law all of a sudden? I can barely understand a word they're saying. And what's with the weird poses? Is it something they ate? <laughs> I mean, they doing this. I hope you're willing to take the blame for this one. I see. I wasn't expecting them to take me so seriously. I'll go and have a word with them. What are they doing? They didn't show. They didn't show it, yeah. Probably their hands like this. <laughs> They're like. They're modest. Blah, 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 blah. Like, no, say. <laughs> They're modest. Eh? Hmm. Love. This is the way, right? I think this is the way. Because there's a teleporter there. There's a teleporter there too. Oh no, that's the way, love. That's don't the way. know, because when we were here... Ah, oh, no, we're gonna fight. No, this is, we had this before we fought. We came this way. Right, and now we should go that way. Actually... Hey, can you go back there again? And you regenerate? <laughs> I think so. Look. Yeah, this is a way. Huh? Try to go there. I'll go. Faria the Poon. Yeah, but I, do you want to see the what they're talking about? I think they're gonna talk about it. Faria. What happened there? Yeah, you want? Or no? Wait, it's too late now. <laughs> <laughs> what is it, Rinwell? Do you hear something again? Yes. Yeah. I hear. You see? It's that voice. The will of Dana's astral energy. Oh, we're gonna see what happened. In the witch? Mm, in the past. Ah. Oh, they're in the wedge. Yeah, yeah, they're actually in the wedge. You're right. Hmm, what's that? It's Sean. No, this what? is what? There's so much astral energy. But oh, where's it all coming from? It's almost like it's alive. <gasps> they hear the voice? I don't know. Oh, 
with the thorns, though. Mm. What was that? This is inside the... Neori? Uh -huh. Oh, it broke. Uh, the seal broke with that much energy, I guess. Ah, she's the reason. Mm, no, the... Frozen. Hmm. Who's this? Alfin. Hmm. That's Alfin. You know what's happening. Oh, what's that? Alfin. They're seeing this, right? Uh huh. And it got. They're gonna wonder what's that. They're gonna talk about it. They're gonna explain it down. Say what's that? It's the start of the throne, the thorns. That mm. was the spirit channeling ceremony just now. No, it was more than that. What the hell was that? It felt like everything was on the brink of, like the whole world was seconds from. Oblivion. It's the same vision as the one my thorns show me. A vision of impenetrable darkness that swallows up us and everything else. An empty void. A nothing so complete and dominating that there aren't even words to describe it. The end of time. The visions of the apocalypse you've been seeing. If I'd known how bad they were, I... So, everything we just saw, those were Nayori's memories, right? That's right. It was as if her innermost thoughts were speaking directly to us. At least I know they weren't mine. That power flowing into her, it reminds me of Xion's thorns. If they're what's responsible for all these visions she's been having, then maybe... Maybe my thorns are made from that same astral energy? Mm, probably. Hmm. If that is the case, we just found the missing link between your thorns and what happened here three centuries ago. No, more than a link. Perhaps even the very heart of the matter. I've never felt astral energy so powerful. What was that? If it's the same energy your thorns are made of, it must be dark astral energy, right? And isn't that something only Renans have? Correct. Dark astral energy is possessed by Renans alone. And when enough astral energy gathers together, it develops its own form of sentience. If so, maybe that complete oblivion is exactly what the Renan astral energy's will is wishing for. But why? I don't know. Will can be a pretty vague thing to nail down. It's more of a feeling. Just like the will of Dana. But the will of Dana is made up of astral energy too, right? And if that's what's been showing us these visions... I don't know, should we really be getting so involved with this thing? Dana's will would never want oblivion! But you can't say that for sure! Cut it out, you two. <laughs> Squabbling over theories will get us nowhere. Right. Stop talking. You want to know what happened next? <laughs> Let's keep moving. If it's Dana's will showing us these memories... And I'm as clueless about its motives as any one of us. But if it could lead us to the truth, then I want to find out more. Yes. Shion's right. All we can do is keep going. If these really are Naori's memories we're watching, there could be truths in them I was never aware of. And I think they may be the kinds of truths I need to confront if we're going to keep fighting. I'm sorry about what I said earlier. Come on, let's go. <laughs> Finally, All right. we begin to understand what the thorns are. Yes, and their source. A ceremony that occurred three mm. centuries ago. Mm. We still don't know how to get That's rid of them. Pretty good. I just hope we can find a way. Oh, those white... You know what? 
Oi, merci. Soon, you might very well learn the truth behind Shion's thorns, as well as my own past. I have to be ready to face anything, whatever happens. <laughs> gonna choose. Yeah, gonna go. So it's only one way. This is probably close to the end of the game then. Because you cannot uh, return. What are you saying about white stuff? No, I mean, sorry, I meant red. The red women have, have the red eyes, right? Black. Black? Oh, I guess you're right. Oh, what are you gonna say? I was gonna say they're probably part of the thorns because they have the same eye color, but you're right. Who has red eyes? I don't know. The, the red eyes appear in the vision. Red eye? Yeah, love no, and the thorns. Ah, they're inside. Yeah. Oh, you're close to something. Hold you're close to that. What is it? I want to look through that room over there. That's sure, the we'll experiment. Talk. That's hmm. the room you visited in your past, right? Sure. We can check it out. Love the sound isn't that uh, like when they're talking, right? Isn't isn't that uh, good at least for me? Push this. Is it good for you? It's not good for me. You mean sound effect? No, when they're talking. Well, actually, I have one only one ear covered, so that maybe that's why. Yeah, that's why. Okay. They're talking here. The music is here. No, ah, I see. <coughs> this. Looks like some kind of research facility. Yeah, that's where Alfen was. Hmm. Oh, look, there's three. The laboratory secreted hmm. away in the Forbidden Zone. Why am I past being surprised at this point? Looks pretty deserted. Let's check it out. It might give us a new lead. And nobody knows that they are there. Yep. Well, I think they know. <laughs> they should know. They know because they sent. Remember, they sent the uh, Faria after us. vision we saw it was as if it was meant specifically for us what do you make of it do you still think the will of dana might be involved somehow maybe it's trying to tell us something but what well it could be supernatural you know like seeing dead people messages <laughs> on the grave ghost type stuff that that's your grand theory <laughs> that we're being haunted come on law wait he might be closer to the mark than you think. What if a person's thoughts and deeds were to somehow become indelibly etched into the ether of a place? And what if those with a connection could then somehow pick up on them? You think that's what it was? Some kind of message someone left here for us? I am merely entertaining the possibility. Whether it was Dana's will, or somehow connected to the Sovereign and Maiden's powers, I do not know. Okay, back up a sec. You're saying that if a place is full of enough astral energy, it can somehow show us events that happened centuries ago? More to the point, how does that much astral energy gather in one place anyway? Seems unlikely it happened naturally. Whatever it was, it survived here intact for 300 years. Whoever left it for us, the strength of their intent is beyond doubt. The strength of their intent? <sighs> hmm... Forbidden Zone? For the people of Lenigus, the Forbidden Zone is the stuff of dreams. Yet here I am, standing within its hallowed halls. It's off limits even for lords, then? Talk about an exclusive club. <sighs> Being exclusive is one thing, but how many important facilities let in only the Sovereign? Doesn't that seem a little strange? Strange doesn't cover it. If it was only one room, maybe. But a place on this scale? How do they keep it from falling into ruin? Whoever the Sovereign is, they can't manage the upkeep of this whole place themselves. Did no one ever talk about it when you were growing up? No, not that I can remember. Then again, Sovereigns and Forbidden Zones weren't exactly breakfast table conversations. The mm. Forbidden Zone is a hallowed place, at one with the Sovereign's authority, grounds of the one true ruler who presides over all realms. Who's the Sovereign? They that don't is what know, we right? believe mm. this place to be. 
I think they're sovereign we were made to believe just a life. But now it is finally time to discover this area's true purpose and why it was kept hidden behind the scenes for so long. I think there's one sovereign that has been like for 300 years ruling and the um, the contest on uh, Dana was just for um, for them to to make people harvest uh, astral energy, you know, and whoever wins just gets killed afterwards because they don't see the sovereign afterwards mm. and probably not even the planet exists. This, uh, what's it called? Um, what's the... Rena. Rena. They're probably from the same planet, love. There's a different tribe of people, probably. Who knows? What's this? Nobody... That's the table they were sleeping. Mm. It's an operating table. Let's see. Hmm. I think I can make this work. Names? I guess so. Well, can you make head or tail of it? These are experiment records by the looks of it. Reams of them, dating back hundreds of years. Let's see. A composite being capable of controlling Dan and astral energy, so as to convert its molecular and elemental makeup. The creation of a governing central figure, taking the form of a Danon. Codename Sovereign. Hmm. Sovereign? Wait, there's more. Research into utilizing force field crystals for the purpose of stable astral energy containment. That must be the master cores. With all this raw data, there's bound to be records here somewhere about the Maiden and the Lords, too. About the Lords? Why would they be on there? Think about it. The Lord's crests are clearly of a piece with those of both the Sovereign and the Maiden. Not to mention the fact that the contenders to the crown are selected from otherwise regular Renan citizens. In other words, it may be that all Renans are unwittingly being made subject to some kind of... grand scheme. What about the Sovereign? Does it say anything else? Where do I start? All I've read so far is the headlines. There's so much here. To sift through all of it would require specialized... Wait, what is it? Did you find something? It's a list of names, with the title, Test Subjects, Sovereign. <laughs> it's your call. Read it. There must be dozens of test subjects listed here. Hundreds even. All of them failures. Wait, I think I've found one that was successful. Test subject number 1273. Ethnicity, N.A. Unique adjustment index, generation, N.A. Given name, Alphen. <sighs> Not so much. Why are you surprised? You know that you're the, the only one. You engineered me. Right here in this lab. He knows, right? Hmm. Alphen. Hey, I want to know who the other are. It's fine. With others. Really. What about the others? Was I the only one? Bull run. It is gonna Test be sure. Subject number one zero one zero five. Ethnicity NA. Unique adjustment index generation NA. Given name Volron. No, yeah, Volron, you're right. But that means three hundred is she's only sovereign because someone made him that way too. He's the last one. In three centuries worth of records, you and Volron are the only two subjects on whom the experiment was a success. <laughs> but what about the winners of the crown contests? Does this mean that none of them were ever crowned sovereign after all? <laughs> yep. Upon victory, the Sovereign shall return to Rena and rule over Rena and Lenegus combined. When a new Sovereign is decided, the outgoing Monarch shall relinquish their post and live out the rest of their days on Rena. So we were told. But according to these records, 
There have only ever been two sovereigns, neither of whom had anything to do with the crown contest. It's all lies, including the part about the sovereign residing in Rena. The crown contest was never about deciding a new ruler. It must always have been devised for some other purpose. But even supposing that's true, someone must have been in charge for the past three centuries, right? If it wasn't the sovereign, then who there was is. it? Back. In the back, he can appear all, all of a sudden. This whole time, in spite of the fact that there was already a sovereign, me, meaning that for the past three hundred years, someone out there has to have been maintaining that lie. The same person I'm willing to bet is behind all this. The Red Woman? Kennedy. It's possible. But that doesn't necessarily mean she's the mastermind behind this scheme. She could be working for someone else. Someone back on the Renan homeworld. Either what way, is? it's fair to say she's definitely involved somehow. What else is written there? Mm -hmm. What about the data records? Is there no other information that could help us? Not that I can see. Just file upon file of experiment results. There's nothing here about who's behind all this, or what their end game is, unfortunately. How about me then? I've barely managed mm -hmm. to scratch the surface, mind you. You won't be able to read through it all. But you're welcome to take a look through what you can, while we're here. Okay, let's look. I'll do that. Why would they ask uh, Dohalim then, if they can read it? So this is where Alvin <laughs> became the Sovereign. I think Roll he's gonna read well. it for us. <clears throat> the significance of this location would suggest... Hey, it looks like the terminals in here turned on too. We should look through them. They might contain valuable information. Yep. Where? This, this three. How many minutes, baby? Twenty-two. Okay, still have time. Uh, select the topic to explore. The maiden. Yeah. Look. The ma love you. Yeah. Read. <laughs> you read, cause I cannot. The maiden acts as the sovereign support mechanism for the spirit channeling ceremony. Each one is granted level two authority and an ID crest. Hey. Hmm. A Renan subject serves its functions, providing the sovereign with the supplemental dark astral it lacks in tandem with the Renan's alma. During the ceremony, it is partly responsible for astral energy conversion, as well as maintaining stability over the sovereign's own powers. Hmm. Additionally, the degree of intimacy between it and the sovereign has been observed to positively impact the level of stability in both subjects. <laughs> because of this, trial activations of the sovereign without the maiden present are expressly for forbidden. Furthermore, neither the sovereign nor the maiden are to be informed about the details of the spirit channeling plan. Huh? Adem, adendum 1. Mental instability in the maiden has been deemed the cause of the past sovereign's rampancy. Countermeasures must be considered. That's uh, mm. theory, right? Mm. In line with plan adjustments, the current subject will have its maiden registration revoked and be returned to its original household. Ah, it, ah. There was a failure in the first, right? Yeah, when they, like he, um, he went and what's it called my mind doesn't work because I'm, I'm I have a cold anyways the second one is because the second one is about um she won baby look she was returned back to her house see because I'm pretty sure the Sean doesn't have the memory but uh, when Volvram was created you had to have a maiden who was the maiden she won. but after that she was returned to her original household that's why she also have, has that... Uh, uh, has the thorns. Hmm. Select a topic. Exit. Because you know everything about the sovereign. What do they have here? Master core? No, I don't need this, right? What about this? Hmm. 
Lord. Each crown contest, five of the best qualified members of the Renan populace are chosen to act as lords vying to serve as the next sovereign. During the tenure, their tenure, they are granted level 3 authority as well as one of the five elemental realms to administer and its corresponding master goal. You know, but it didn't me. They are also assigned as an ID. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> the selection. Ah, annoying me. I want to see if it says anything about the red woman. Nothing. I think it's uh, already. Mm. That we know. We know. I just wanted to know what the maiden, the maiden I don't know what about that. Oh, there's about. not the one here. What is this about? Lineages. Uh, you want to detachable harvester, the... Which? The thing that they throw on the planet. Oh. Mm. Not gonna read about it. Well, that's where they did the channeling something. Mm. Brainwashing oh, report, no. sedative mask. Oh, see, the one that we have. Brainwashing as well. You want to read all these things? No, it's okay. Me neither. Let's go. Sorry, guys. Don't have time. What's the time? 27. <laughs> when I say do we don't have time, we actually don't have time. <laughs> guys, <clears throat> that's it for now. Don't like... Don't <laughs> Sorry, I cannot Don't like think. our video. Don't like our video. <laughs> Unlike it. Uh, dislike it. Don't forget to... Subscribe though, and uh, if you think you can also leave a like. Mm. Okay, see Tell you soon. Tell us what you think. Exactly. Bye bye.